Today, more people in sub-Saharan Africa live in extreme poverty than in any other region of the world. Although the Millennium Development Goal for Poverty Reduction was met globally, the absolute number of people living in extreme poverty in sub-Saharan Africa actually increased between 1990 and 2015. Sub-Saharan Africa also performs below the global average on various measurements of governance. Because a crucial aspect of governance is the ability to provide essential services to people who need it most, an effective state that implements appropriate policies will reduce poverty more rapidly. In 2015, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, which include targets on governance and poverty. Goal 1 of the SDGs is to eliminate extreme poverty by 2030. Goal 16.6 .6 is to develop effective, accountable and transparent institutions at all levels. In contrast to other goals, SDG 16 does not include quantifiable targets. For this reason, it is one of the most wide-ranging and aspirational of the SDGs, but also one of the most subjective. Nevertheless, it is critical for development and poverty reduction and could facilitate progress on many of the other SDGs. Effective governance has been identified as a principal determinant of growth for centuries. Successful poverty reduction requires policies that are conceived, implemented and monitored by governments with the capacity to obtain and distribute resources to the people most in need, along with providing sufficient property rights, rule of law and a transparent regulatory framework. The African Futures Project used the International Futures Forecasting System, IFS, to explore the impact of improved governance on poverty reduction in sub-Saharan Africa. We then compared that scenario to the impact of achieving two other SDGs with strong links to poverty, communicable diseases and access to improved sanitation. We find that a modest improvement in governance has a larger effect on poverty reduction than eradicating communicable diseases or providing universal access to improved sanitation. Improved governance could lift more than 60 million people out of extreme poverty in Africa by 2050 and improve GDP per capita in Africa by more than 800 US dollars per year relative to the current path. What's more, two fewer infants would die per thousand live births in 2050 compared to the current path. The African Futures Project is a collaboration between the Institute for Security Studies and the Frederick S. Pardee Center for International Futures at the University of Denver.